Say hello, everybody. Welcome to the last class of this module. Imagine time flies. Okay, so uh, the first thing that we're going to do tonight is actually to check about the attendance. So, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. David Samuel Galdames Monterosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Teacher, Ana Claudia, present. Ah, okay, perfect. Good. Okay. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Gotcha. Nice. Uh, before we move on, we're going to check about the platform. Let me just check here. Okay, let's see if anybody's missing. Okay. Juan Miguel Brang is missing some parts of the platform yet. Jose Wilfredo Ayala also is missing. Uh, let's see. Jose Osmin Rivas. And that's it. The rest, we are in peace. It should be done before midnight. After midnight, the platform is closed and it's not possible to do anything else. So it's very important for the ones that are missing to, to finish the platform, okay? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Okay, let me check the attendance. Thank you. This week has been very, very busy. Yeah, I have seen that. <laughs> I have noticed that. Yeah, you've been uh, very busy. I, I guess. Uh, yeah, sometimes that happens. Don't worry. Uh, and I see here that the platform on your side is is done already. So that's good. Yes, I I complete the all the the things all the. <clears throat> the lecture, lecture <clears throat> the pattern. Um, I have problems with with uh, a part because you you, you question mark you have uh, space and then question mark uh, something like that. At the yeah. end, I I, I saw I saw. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that happened. I mean, sometimes that happens when you need to type the answer and there are some errors. So. Uh, yeah. The good thing is that you were able to solve it. Okay, very good. So uh, we're going to do today also the um, the um, survey, the INSA Forb survey. So you know how to do that one. I guess it's going to be very fast, very easy. So that is going to be at 840, exact. Okay. Okay. Um, in the meantime, we have some homeworks. We had two homeworks for this week. The first one is the usual one. That is the words that you were going to bring, uh, two or three words, and explain about that. And the second one is about speaking about anything that you want to speak. Uh, you have five minutes for you to speak or more, of course, uh, for anything that you want to speak. So we're going to start with the words one, okay? So let's see how it goes. Um, who wants to be the first one then? Nobody. 
No. Sorry, I was talking with my mic off. <laughs> okay, okay. Me, teacher. Very well, perfect. So let's uh, listen to David. Okay. I I found this. Let me share, please. Okay. Uh, the name is the most beautiful words in the English language. I I don't know. It's it's right, but <laughs> it's it's a. Uh, I don't know, it's a very interesting word. This the first word is a uh, sinosaur. Sinosaur and uh, the history says that in the 17th century it was uh, used for the North Star, maybe for the people in the sea that was uh, sail sailing and need to get oriented to get the direction that they go. And this word is uh, used as sinosaur. Even the, also for the North constellation Eurasia Minor, but now uh, this word uses is uses for anyone who is the center or of attention or serves to guide. Can also be described as sinosaur, one person that is uh, the soul of the of the party. <laughs> A labyrinth, labyrinth is a, I, I think it's not so difficult word, but uh, uh, when I was uh, working in something that I I was going around and going around and do nothing because I don't think correct, this is the, the use, the labyrinth. And the, the common use is uh, any place with intricate pathways that you get lost. I, I, I remember when I was five, I get lost in, in a labyrinth in the planet de Renderos. I was a little kid and, and I don't know now, but at the time I, well, I, I don't have a good uh, direction in my mind. I, I lost here in my city in Santa Tecla. I lost, uh, I, I lived here for 30 years and, and I, I, I still lost. I, I don't go in, in vacation and directions. This word is like to me. In a favor. When when every word fails, when when use this word, and the means of this word is unspeakable or indescribable. Okay. It's a, a very interesting word. And the the, the last one, ephemeral. Sin does don't last forever. Are familiar from conversations to arguments. Some things just tend to be short lived, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. This, the life itself is ephemeral. <laughs> yeah. That's all, teacher. There are many more, but that's all for now. <laughs> and for the next module, the other ones. <laughs> very good. And that's the attitude. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much. And uh... Uh, yes, uh, they were very interesting. Uh, yeah, you are right. I mean, I uh, all my life I have lived in Santa Ana. And when I came here uh, to San Salvador and I had to go and... I mean, it's like a labyrinth sometimes. You have to <laughs> uh, to go out from a place. You have sometimes to go down to other place in the country and go... I don't, I don't know. Many things. Many, many things that you need to know. That's why here everybody is like, oh, the place that is near, near to here because everybody <laughs> knows it's, it's, it's interesting. Uh, back in Santa yes. Ana, it's like, I mean, if you want to go from north to south, you just go straight and that's it, right? So <laughs> you cannot get lost. So um, okay. very good. Perfect. Thank you very much for your words, David. Uh, who wants to be the next one? Okay, I'm gonna choose, of course. <laughs> Dora Elizabeth. Okay, I have two, three, fresh, uh, fresh, oh, I don't know, fresh, but fresh, look, verb. Okay. okay. Push around. Is to, Treat sunset badly or unfairly. Uh, the other is uh, push forward. 
to try to get something you want. Push up to increase the price or value of something. Okay, very good, interesting. Yeah, uh, phrase adverbs is one of the things that we really need to practice because as you see there, or as you heard with Dora's examples, I mean, uh, the same verb with different words is going to be totally different meaning or usage. So it's a very, very important. And, and I mean, yeah, we need to consider those and uh, try to use them. That is a very, very important thing. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Dora. Um, let's check with Jose Osmin Rivas. Yes, teacher. Okay. Do you have the words to share? Uh, not really, teacher. Okay. I see. Perfect. No worries. Thank you. I have uh, that, teacher. Oh, perfect. Let's check with uh, Fernando Marvin. Okay. I put in the chat. Okay. I'm going to put in the chat but the first word is kerfuffle. Kerfuffle means a uh, fuss or commotion. For example, there was a kerfuffle at the party when the cave fell on the floor. Okay, the second one is Kolibawans. Colibowels is an informal word for describing a feeling of stomach discomfort or nervousness. For example, I always get the colibowels before a big presentation. Mm -hmm. And the last one is this is this is a, a curiosity. This is closing now senile lipification. Is the is the action or habit of considering something as worthless? For example, she accused him of flowsy now senile pilification when they dismiss her idea as unimportant. Yeah, okay. that's it. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, the last one is like German, right? German words are complex because they are compound nouns and they put two or three words together in that ah, sometimes. You see these words and you are like, what? What is that, right? So, <laughs> kerfuffle. I guess somebody brought that one before, and it's a very good word. I mean, it's a fancy word that we can start using, right? Hey, what a kerfuffle are you having there? <laughs> so it's something very, very good, perfect. Okay, so the next one is going to be uh, Jarvin Isaac. Do you have the words? Okay, not possible. Juan Miguel Brand, do you have the words? Not possible either. Uh, Luis Albert, here. I'm going to write. Okay. Words. Okay. Okay, group is the word. <clears throat> group is an adjective. Is speaking in a roof is uh, when you speaking unfriendly. And <clears throat> for example, is the manner can be rather group, a group, or when you replace uh, something in in a way very un very unfriendly. Group. Uh, well, I, I, I like a sauna or, or a dog. I don't know. <laughs> roof. <laughs> roof, roof. <laughs> yes. Um, the other word is I choose a word with, with G. Very. The other is grunt. Okay. I had to 
two meanings about this, this word. If, uh, the first meaning is to make short sounds or say few words in a row voice when you do not want to talk. Uh, for example, he just drowned and carry on reading his book. If a person or animal animal runs, they make short, loud sounds in their throat, growing with with the fourth, um, she lifts me up. And the other meaning is a short, low sound that a person or animal makes in their throat. Uh, for example, Chris gave a group and went back to sleep. To sleep. Okay. And other is someone who does hard physical works for long pain. Uh, for example, when get the grunts to move the crates. Um, this is an American informal uh, meaning a soldier in the in the in the US, or US, yes. Okay. Well, but this kind of words, uh, maybe we don't use or every day or it, it, it rarely you if you use this kind of words. But I I found these words. Uh, my it, it, to me is like an expressions expression or when you feel upset, I don't know, if you answer it in a bad way or what you want, if you don't want to talk with someone, okay, you can you use the, this kind of work. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Uh, interesting, interesting. Yeah. As you say, I mean, there are words that probably we don't hear that very common. Sometimes probably some people use some kind of word. I, I guess, for example, kerfuffle is one of the words that, yeah, people use sometimes, not that common, but yeah, sometimes it's used. But there are other words, like the third one that Marvin uh, shared, probably that is something that not all the people use, right? Because of the, it's, it's a little bit complex, it's a little bit long, but it's very interesting to find. I mean, where, where we look for other words, you realize how extensive is the language, right? And that is in English, in Spanish, in any Spanish. language. Yeah. Any, any language is very, there are many words in, in, in our native it's, it's, it's big language, in our language, like Spanish, for example, uh, there are many words that you can use uh, in a way or not. Yeah. So, and sometimes uh, in El Salvador, for example, the, uh, there are many different ways to say at the to say something or to say to give a name for an, uh, a special thing. Uh, like in San Miguel, for example, they say in, in a way, in an other way, like people in San Salvador. Okay. He, 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 uh, although he, he, our country is, is, is uh, and it, it, it's not big, it, uh, I don't know. There are different ways or different words to to talk about something or a. Uh, like uh, idiomatic expressions, for example. Yeah. Well, uh, the, the last word is grow. Grow is, <clears throat> grow, uh, the meaning is uh, a strong alcoholic drink especially uh, mixes with water and the other way in formal is any alcoholic any alcoholic drink but uh, I don't uh, when you say alcoholic drink for example beer 
or a vodka or something like that. Uh, but uh, uh, in me, I don't, I don't know about this 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 work. Is another way to say alcoholic drink, bro. Yeah, actually, I didn't know that word either. I mean, as, as we were discussing, there are a lot of things. Right? So today, for example, today is Friday, and we can get for a grub, right? <laughs> so well, when you talk to about, uh, for example, uh, how do you say, billete? Bill. Bill. Okay. Uh, other word is box. In the United States, they, they say, hey, uh, uh, how much is it? Five bucks, for example. Ten bucks. It, it's like, uh, say, ten dollars or five dollars. But some uh, um, American people, uh, they say bucks. Very it's true. Informal. Uh -huh. It's informal, but, but they use every day in, 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 in this kind of world. Well, I, I hear that. Yeah, actually, that is true. I mean, and that is something very interesting because, yeah, when we watch movies or uh, TV shows, we are able to to learn that kind of vocabulary, right? So it's a, it's a very good thing. Perfect. Thank you for your words, Steve. Thank you. Good. Okay, Fernando Ernesto Cosme. Not possible. Uh, let's check with Wendy Patricia. Is it possible for you? Not possible either. Uh, Ileana Giselle. Not possible. William Alexander. Okay. I got three three different ways uh, to say hurry up. Uh, number one is set up, step on it, or number two shake a leg, and number three chop chop. For example, I'm tired of being asked to step on the gas because of other people's disorganizations. It's very unfair, and no matter how fast we work. Our manager tell us to step on it. It's really demoralize, demoralizing. A step on it. Okay. That's it, teacher. Very good, very interesting because the three expressions are for the same, right? Hurry up. Maybe that is the one that we use, right? Or rush. Uh, I'm on a rush, you say. Two are the most common. But yes, yeah, step on it actually is very common. That is something yeah. that you can hear in movies and and I mean the three that you share right now, those are very very common and popular ways for people to say hurry up, hey, step on it, hey, hurry up, right? Or shake a leg, come on, or chop chop. Yeah, that is like you with friends or very informal. Hey, chop yeah. chop, hurry up. <laughs> uh, very good, very good, perfect. Thank you. Uh, let's uh, check with Jose Marcus. Okay. Um, the first is a uh, lad. Uh, I didn't know that this word means like. Let me type. I I um hear it in like an interview. Uh, really, was like I just because. <laughs> uh, uh, British guy was speaking and said this word, but. It's like, you know, that accent complicated to get it. So yeah, it's difficult, it's difficult to, for me, what to understand the word at the first time. Lad is like fellas or, or the boys or or my team mate or something like, like this, lad, the, the lad. And the next one is, uh, Criminy, I don't know if I said it right. Criminy uh, is like uh, a bitterness or ill feeling to like to express something or someone with that 
bad bad behavior or something not um, not good. And the last one is uh, ah, it's an expression uh, because the word means other things. But if we say uh, you really nail it, for example, it's like we are expressing, it's our phrase to express success or goal or to you achieve a goal. You really nail it. Uh, I didn't know this phrase means that. So that are my words or phrases. Very good, perfect. Thank you. So yes, I mean, nail it is very, very popular. Probably nobody in the informal way is going to say, oh, you achieve it now, right? So they say you made it or you nail it. But nail it is like more than, than that one. So nail it is like when you say, hey, you really did it. You, I mean, you did it very well. So something like that. You nailed it. So it is very, very common. That is very common. Even in formal environments that are not that formal, of course, uh, you can use that one. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Marcus. Uh, let's check with Ana Claudia. Hi, teacher. Uh, okay. Uh, the first word I have is this one, petfluencer. It, it's a noun, and you know, it's one of those new words because it's a person who gains a large following on social media by posting entertaining images or videos of their own uh, cats or dogs or other pets that they mostly uh, they are pet if pet influencer because they their content uh, on their social media is mostly for pets uh, also uh, going in the same uh, direction i found this uh, other word, let me just share with you. Here it is, grandfluencer. <laughs> I was so surprised because I knew uh, people who they create videos, content, they try to do something good or bad. They, I mean, for them, it's like a job to be on the social media. So, uh, for influencers, but the grand influencer is the, it refers to older influencer, uh, but not older because they've been in the network during all a long time. It's because uh, it's uh, referring to to old people. So they are grand influencer. It's like, it's, uh, uh, it's a noun. It's yeah, it's a noun, and it's uh to uh, referring to all the people that is looking for uh, older, like 60, 70. You know, nowadays there are a lot of content in social media, uh, people making TikToks video also, uh, and they are very popular, and they are not younger, they are older. And the other word that I found is, let me just, uh, this other one. Just give me one moment. I'm going to copy and paste. Okay. This, I, just one moment. This other word is uh, known as people who they, it, it's like a disease, right? The, uh, in Spanish, it will be enuresis, people who makes in their bed. <laughs> uh, so, but, but that is uh, known as, uh, as that, but in the informal way, it's like um, when a situation or someone is showing 
exhibition, but it's overreacting. It's like too much reaction uh, at that point that it would be showing like anxiety or, or alarm to certain events. So in the informal way is uh, people name in that way to people who overreact or they often show uh, exhibitions in different way. So that is what I found interesting. Very interesting, very good. And yeah, I mean, sometimes that happens, right? So the word is changing that much that sometimes there are new words, new vocabulary that we have to learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I guess that if I if I make some content, I will be a grand influencer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. no, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you, Ana Claudia. Okay, um, let's check with Francisco Eduardo. Hello, teacher. Okay. Okay, teacher. Uh, the first one mm -hmm. is um, a cumin. It's a noun. Uh, is uh, this word uh, referred to the people that uh, they have a, uh, um, for example, uh, the the people uh, who make a decision uh, very easily and very fast, uh, or for example, uh, when uh, people uh, can learn important things uh, easily. And uh, is uh, for uh, in in Spanish uh, is perspicacia. This is a a a a an an substantive, right? Fisher? A noun. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. A noun. <laughs> and the second is convivial. Uh, is an uh, an adjective. Uh, is uh, like uh, to refer, uh, for example, uh, uh, is a, a people uh, or a group of, of people that uh, they, uh, how do you say, say a ambiente, or is a, a good, um, uh, un buen ambiente, a good... Uh, yeah, that is get along, they get along. They get along, okay, for sure. Oh, um, a good atmosphere, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the last one is credulity. Uh, it's a, a noun and refer to, to people, for example, they uh, they believe in, in anything uh, without a... Uh, 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 how do you say pruebas, teacher, or... or, or or to be uh, verify that the things are are uh, are true, okay. and refer to the the, the people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very well, perfect. Thank you very much. Interesting. So yeah, all the words have been very very interesting. I hope half of them are still on our mind, right? Jose Wilfredo. Not possible. I asked already the teacher. Right. I'm really sorry about that, but I'm driving right now. Okay, don't worry. Yeah, I totally understand. Okay, let's okay, check with thank you. 10%. Ah, it's a pleasure. Uh, Roxana Yvette. Hi, I have two words. Okay. Let me let me show. Of course. Did you see my screen? Yep. Okay. The first one is to death. The word dude has been used for a few years to describe a nice a nice person, but this um, term is usually uh, assigned to, to a man. A man, right? Man. Uh, but uh, in this case, to that is um, the same term, but this term is a feminine version. For example, uh, she's really cool girl, a really to that. 
The other one is Scooby Doo Snack. This phrase you should know thanks to the cartoon character Scooby Doo. It describes a snack that is given especially as a reward or to a persuade the person to do something for you. For example, please, can you hang out the washing there, there to be a Scooby Doo snack waiting for you? Okay, interesting. Very nice. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I believe that not all the people, they know that, I mean, dude is, is for boys, right? That is a very good one because for girls, it's different to do that. Uh, yeah. But women, they don't like that kind of words. Right? So probably that's why we don't hear that very often. So we are... Yeah, it's like a um, como lenguaje callejero, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, if somebody says, hey, you are my dude, it's like, well, I'm sorry, but I'm not right. <laughs> uh, yeah. But it's very common, for example, to say, um, um, she's my girlfriend, and that is a very popular thing, right? So that won't mm -hmm. be any problem. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for all the words. So we are exactly on time for us to start about the, uh, the survey. Remember to have uh, everything open so you can copy and paste, right? Uh, of course, we're going to follow the procedure. And the first thing that we will do is to see the video. So, my friends, here we go. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to do something here so you can hear that. Hold on a second. Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar. Y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en información que hemos compartido y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente, colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6, vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera, vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8, vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor, vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos. Y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarlo tal cual está en la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocar. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán 
las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio de igual manera las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En este caso nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, según las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar. Y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido ese mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Ok, very easy. Of course, you have experience already and we're going to start right away. So there on the chat, you will find as well the information so you can copy and paste. So on the number one, it says uh, put the uh, starting, right? So it's going to be the one that is there on the chat and you just copy and paste it there, okay? If uh, you have your email, you can also copy it from there. That wouldn't be any problem. And we're going to go together. So um, let's wait for everybody to finish. Number one. Is anybody missing the number one? Everybody is ready. Okay, let's go to number two. The whole name, the one that is according to Dewey, right? So let's enter that name there. I'm going to wait a little bit. Okay, is anybody missing number two? ¿Le falta alguien el número dos todavía? No, teacher. Okay, now the email. So that's an easy one as well. Enter your email address, the one that you used to log in into the platform. Okay, is there anybody missing on number three? ¿Alguien le falta el número tres? Okay, number four is very easy. So it's going to be your cell phone number, right? Very easy. Is there anybody missing number four? Okay, let's go to number five. So choose the one for you and that's it. Is there anybody missing number five? Sorry, teacher, sorry, one, one question. If we have uh, two cell phones, I, I, I believe that I have the two of them registered. Uh, just the one where you received uh, on the WhatsApp the uh, the messages that will be it. Okay. Good. Perfect. Uh, are everybody done with number four and number five? Okay. So number six, where you live? In my case, is Santana. And, of course, you are going to enter the one for you. 
Is anybody missing number six? Okay. So number seven, very similar, right? Just enter municipio and that will be it. Is there anybody missing number seven? Okay. Empresa donde trabaja, recordemos que es la razón social. ¿verdad? Si usted tiene duda de cómo se llama su empresa o cómo es la razón social, me dice y yo le digo. Teacher, I don't know if I have a Misión Cristiana Nuevo Pacto o Colegio Cristiano. Okay, let me check and I will Please. let you know. Of course, it's a pleasure. Let's see here. Uh, for you, it says Misión Cristiana Nuevo Pacto. Okay, thank you. Good. Anybody else would like to check into that? Me, teacher. Okay, Marvin. Let's see. Yours is going to be Joven Moda, coma, S-A, D-C-B. Good. Anybody, uh, it's a pleasure. Anybody else want me to check into that? Me, teacher. I, I'm not sure if it's concentric CVG. Global um, Services El Salvador, SADCB. Exactly what you say. Yeah. Ah, okay. Thank you. Very good. Anybody else would like me to check into that? Good. So let's move on. So uh, here in number nine, remember that this is a pull down menu. And we're going to look for Inglés Corporativo. So you just click on the arrow and then Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Okay. Is anybody missing into that one? Okay. The name of the course is also there in the chat of uh, Zoom. So you can just copy it from there if you want. So it's going to be exactly like that. Okay. The name is if without the, the commas at the beginning, at the end? Uh, it could be either or. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is there anybody missing on number 10? Okay, number 11, it has uh, three questions. Okay, so you're going to check the one that is for you. Remember that uh, this is the evolution just about uh, the platform itself, about the classes, uh, anything like that. It's not included schedules or uh, anything related with other things. It's just methodology, okay? Okay, so is there anybody missing on number 11? Okay, very good. So the starting date, uh, remember that here you can just click and you will see the calendar and we are going to go back. So it's going to be uh, this one. It's going to be 20th, March the 20th. Uh, this one is a Monday. Here, it doesn't matter if first goes the month or the date. That depends on the configuration of your computer or cell phone. So, but just click on that one and you will be able to, to do it. Is there anybody missing on number 12? Okay, number 13 is piece of cake because it's today, right? So it's going to be the 28th, so just click on that one and that is it. Is there anybody missing on number 13? Okay, number 14 in general, right? So what is your level of satisfaction? Again, this is about the methodology and what we have done here in the class only. So you just click on the option 
and let's move on. Is there anybody missing on number 14? No, teacher. Good. Number 15 and 16 uh, are not mandatory. So uh, if you want another course, you can enter that one. They are right. And in comments, you can enter your comment there. And then whenever you finish, click send and please send me a screenshot. So I'm going to check uh, for everybody. Okay, so I'm gonna start waiting for that one and I will tell the ones that I received, okay? Okay, I got David. Roxana Yvette, Ana Claudia. If I don't say your name, it's because I don't have it. Jose Osmin Rivas. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez. Dora Elizabeth Flores. Wendy Patricia, Fernando Ernesto Cosme. José Marcos Rodríguez. Ileana Giselle. Luis Albert Steve. Just a few missing here. Jarvin Isaac. I guess it's missing Juan Miguel Brown. William. Jose Wilfredo, I don't know if he's still driving. Only those, I guess. Let me just repeat. Uh, if I don't say your name, it's because you're still missing. So, uh, David Samuel, Roxana Yvette. Ana Claudia González, José Osmín Rivas, Fernando Marvin González, Dora Elizabeth Flores, Wendy Patricia Molina, Fernando Ernesto Cosme, José Marcos Rodríguez, Ileana Giselle Cañas, Luis Albert Steve, Jarvin Isaac Guevara. I guess only three people are missing. I got, I got William Alexander. There's two people missing. I can so far, teacher, but I'm really, I'm really sorry because I'm still driving when I arrive. <laughs> 
into my home, I will complete the, okay. the survey, okay? Perfect, perfect. We're going to be waiting for that one. And just Juan Miguel Blanc, I guess it's kind of busy. I'm going to type with them, so let's see how it goes. Because, I mean, we need to move on, right? Let me just check. Okay. Okay, got Francisco Eduardo. Very good. Okay, let's move on. Uh, before actually we move on. Uh, okay, uh, Juan Miguel, is it possible for you to send it to the chat in WhatsApp? Because that is where it has to be. Okay. Very well, uh, before we move on, um, let me just refresh this one so I can give you update information. Okay, here is it. So uh, still missing on the platform, Jose Osmin Rivas, Jose Wilfredo Ayala, and Juan Miguel Brand. Tonight at midnight is the very last time for us to check into that one. Other than that, it's going to be locked and you won't be able to finish and you won't be able to continue. So... It's very important for you to finish. Okay, very well. So now um, we're going to go to the second homework. That is that you are going to speak about whatever you want to speak. Today is open microphone. Whatever you want to tell us, whatever you want to share, this is the time, okay? If you want to, to say something to, uh, to the whole class, to the teacher, to the life, to somebody that is far away, or if you want to tell something that happened to you, or if you want to share something that is special, or if you want to tell how was your week, whatever you want to share, I'm very curious about what you're going to say. So, who wants to be the first one? <laughs> Me, teacher. Good. Let's start with David. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It was said that the the everything that we use uh, like a, a cliche phrase but it's uh, so true and life is short and we need to to enjoy and we need to live every moment at the, at the uh, in the best way to say the people that we love that uh, we love it and all of the things that are important don't get confused about priorities get the clear priorities and uh, ways, when I was uh, I talk about that uh, before that when I, I was uh, studying I need to go to, to work and I work harvesting coffee and uh, we have a very little time to, to, to enjoy at the end of the year because all of the time we are in the in the farm, where when we go to 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 harvest coffee, we sleep there, uh, stay there, and uh, I, I remember a, a movie. It's not a. It was a very good movie because it's, it was something new, that something that uh, there are no, not know in that moment. It, it was a, a, a musical, but. Uh, but uh, with uh, rock music, rock music, and and uh, the the reason because I remember that is, or why I remember that is uh, because I I went with my cousin that we live uh, together. I I, I live in, in in Santana for two years, and uh, at the the most occidental part I. I remember not the name uh, Barrio Santa Barbara, Colonia Los Pinos, something like that. Very near to the pool uh, Apanteos. I I was I I went to Apanteos every day, in that I that I can and and I was uh, to see the movie in a 
a, a cheapest cinema in Santana. <laughs> there was uh, the two movies for, for 30 cents, the column. And uh, in that occasion, it was, uh, you can stay in the cinema the time you want. Uh, there are two or three movies and uh, I remember that time was two movies and uh, uh, the movie that my cousin wants to see was Phantom of the Paradise. Phantom of the Paradise and uh, after that, my cousin go to USA. He he live in, in that country, and uh, sometimes we speak about that years. That year that was uh, uh, very very significant for us. Very important. We get a strong a strong friendship and a strong brothership. Like uh, we act like uh, we were brothers, and. Uh, <laughs> There was a song. It's a crazy movie. It's a movie, a, a, a comedy, but it's a horror comedy. And it's a mix of uh, Fausto, mix of uh, 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 Phantom of the Opera. And uh, it's, it's something that, yeah, I think it was, was good, but the movie <laughs> was a failure. Uh, but the 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 the, the records uh, the, the 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 songs have winning prizes. The song winning prizes. Uh, the movie was was a failure. And there was a movie, a special movie, is singing singled by a, a, a group named the Juicy Fruits. And uh, goodbye, Eddie, goodbye. And it, it's it's. Uh, uh, told about a, a, a man that was a, a overnight sensation and uh, this guy needed to pay for the operation of of his sister, her, her sister, his sister, sorry, his sister Anne. And uh, he knew that the, his sons became an, uh, become an, a success and the only way that this could be done if he, if they die, if he die, and he sacrificed himself for her sister, for her, her sister could live. And I, 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 I have the movie and the lyrics here, and I want to share, I don't know. Uh... Yeah, go ahead. We can sing it. Actually, I don't have my guitar here. I can play that song, <laughs> but I don't. I don't have it here. Ah, there, there is problem, no? No, no, no. Ah, well, yeah, the song you cannot play it, uh, because of the, of the rights. Uh, ah, okay. Sometimes YouTube. Uh, I mean, since we uh, upload the video to YouTube, and they recognize that there are some, um, rights. You know, copyright. They block the whole video, so it's not possible. But okay. I mean, yeah, I don't have my guitar here, so. <laughs> okay, then I, I I will share the only the lyrics. Yeah. Yes, this is uh, the lyric, the the the, the usual fruit, and the lyric says, "We'll remember you forever, Eddie, through the sacrifice you made." We can't believe the price you paid for love. And little lady Midi, born in Jersey City, started singing when he was five. Never knew his father, mother didn't bother to catch his last name fast as he came. He was of a flying, times were really trying, Eddie and his mother alone. Soon, another mister, soon, a baby sister, Mama keep singing and Eddie kept singing. And then uh, there are a stop in the sun and there are uh, some music that uh, suspense. And now the tragic story. Eddie's sister, Mary Louise, needed an operation. To get the money, we, he would have to become an overnight sensation. Eddie believed that the American people had wonderful love giving hearts. His well publicized and his concert would send his memorial album to the top of the charts. And he did. 
And it's uh, for that reason, it's goodbye, Eddie, goodbye. Then when a John Singer dies toward shock and surprise in a plane crash or a flash sport car, he becomes quite well now. And the kindness, the kindness he show has made more than the one post most mortal star. Well, you did it, Eddie. And through his heart to apply to size, you have all you could you could give. She said you could give. So your sister could live. All Americans choked at inside man will remember you forever, Eddie. Through the sacrifice you made, we can't believe the price you paid for love. And uh, the scene is that the, we started the, in the cinema. The, the movie was uh, attractive because it's new, it's something new, music, and and uh, uh, many special effects of, of that time. But uh, in 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 this moment. I, I stay, I, I don't like much uh, the cinema, but I stay in that place for my cause. And uh, he enjoy every song and every moment. <laughs> I think we see the movie at least five times all the day in the cinema without, without eating. <laughs> but uh, uh, this day we were maybe 20. Maybe uh, something like that, but uh, it was a very special moment. Is we don't know that uh, some difficult things in our country, and uh, he needs to go out, need to go out, and we can't share anymore. But one day, one day we stay full day in the cinema was a very good time together. And we need to value our lover ones. We need to value the people. And, and sometimes we need to give up and something that we like to do for the thing that the other person want to do. This, uh, this is that uh, we, the form that we create everlasting moments, moment that stay in the memory for years, for years. Now, maybe 50 years after we remember that moment and we talk about that and this mark a special time in our life and, and we enjoy. That is the important thing. We need to, to enjoy the life, to not give a, a time to be angered. Uh, that's that seems uh, may us uh, lose our health and lose our internal peace and uh, lose the people that we love. I think that uh, we need to say the people that we love that we love them. And my many of the partners are are young. Some of them very young. And maybe don't see me in that that type of, of situation, but they are so important in the latest day. That is my speak teacher today. Very good, very good, perfect. I was going to, uh, have you ever heard that song? It's a very good song. I mean, uh, as David said, the whole album was very good. I really like like six or seven songs from that movie. I, I love that movie. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a very good story, but yeah, the cinematography was not that good, uh, but the story is amazing. I mean, he is a rock star that he gives his soul. Uh, he is in love. Um, it's interesting. Uh, very awesome. If you enjoy that kind of movies, maybe you can see it. Uh, but I mean, yeah, it's a very old one. And that song is one of my favorites from the movie. I mean, it's, it's uh, maybe you heard that one. It's something that says, We'll remember you forever, Eddie, through the sacrifice you made. We can't believe the price you pay for love. Hey, I am singing here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's a very good song. Yes. Do -do 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 I don't remember that. 
but it's a very good one. Yeah, it's yeah. A, it's a, and the movie was also very, uh, I mean, very nice because it shows a lot of things that actually is happening right now and has happened in the show business for a long, long time. But sometimes because of, of the business that they have uh, to do, sometimes they give their lives. Right? I mean, it's not easy. It's not easy to be a musician or to be a performer of any art and perform uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday until two in the morning, take a plane, go to another city and do that again. I mean, that's crazy. It's not a life. I really admire these guys of Iron Maiden, you know, they were on a tour in 1980 something for four years, four years they were taking planes, singing songs every weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, for four years. That is crazy. I mean, I play in a band and I tell to my friends, I, I would play on Saturday, but not on two days together. No, because I need to sleep. I need to live my life, right? And uh, yeah, what you say, David, is totally, totally true. Little moments are the special ones. Because you don't know if this is the very last time that you are going to see that person. I mean, you can say something, you can enjoy that moment, and maybe that is the last time, the last day, the last words that you are going to say. So every time is special, uh, but we need to, we need to approach, we need to to say to those people that are important, and to the ones that are not important as well that they they really are valuable in our life. So, is uh, sometimes life goes on and we don't have the chance. So there is always a last time, the last time that you saw somebody, that you spoke with somebody, that you, I don't know, interact with somebody. So very good. I really enjoy it. Anybody wants to come on anything else? Okay. Good. Perfect. Thank you for sharing. Very, very good, David. So... The question is, who wants to be the next one? Uh -huh. Thank you, okay, Steve. Oh, I don't know if Roxana. First lady. <laughs> First lady. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, um, I'm going to share. I'm going to to read a a short story. Good, good. The name is The Way of the Glass. Once upon a time, a psychology professor walked around on the stage while teaching stress management to an auditorium filled with the students. As she writes of a glass of water, everyone expects the be asked by the, the typical glass half empty or glass half half full question. Instead, with a smile of her, on her face, the professor asked, "How heavy is is this glass of water?" And told the student shouldn't out answer ranging from eight out eight ounces to a couple pounds. She replied, from my perspective, the absolute absolute weight of the glass doesn't matter. It all depends how long I hold it. Hold it. If I hold it for a minute or two, it's fairly light. If I hold it for an hour straight, straight its weight might, might make my heart edge a little. If I hold it for a day straight, my arms will likely come up and feel completely numb and paralyzed. 
forcing me to draw the glass to the floor. In each case, the weight of the glass doesn't change, but the longer I hold it, it's heavier it feels to me. As uh, the glass shock their hands in agreement, she continued, your stress and your worries in life are very much like this glass of water. Think about them for a while and nothing happens. Think about them a bit longer and you begin to edge a little. And continue. Uh, about them all day long and you will feel completely numb and paralyzed and capable, capable of doing anything else until you drown them. Uh, the moral is it's important to remember to let go of your stresses and worries, no matter what happened during the day, as early in the evening as you can put all your burdens down. Don't carry them through the night and into the next day with you. If you still feel the weight of yesterday's stress, it is a strong sign that it's time to put them glass down. Maybe um, we think uh, overthinking. Maybe we overthinking about a problem or many things in, in our brain. And if you overthinking the same problem, same problem is a, a heavy weight. And it's necessary to try to relax, try to relax in putting order or, or ideas in order to feel a good way uh, for health. And it's necessary. Sorry. Uh, the example way of glass is to be compared to a glass. You can, for a minute, no, no problem. I can, I can, in my hand. But if you continue with, with the same glass, uh, with water, uh, for one day or more, uh, the weight is, is, is heavier uh, at the beginning. Okay. So yeah, it's a very interesting thing. Yeah, it's very good because you are right. Sometimes, I mean, all the problems are important for us, uh, depending on on the people and the situations. I mean, for for example, for a girl not to have money for a concert might be a big problem. They really want to go to a concert and things. That, and for another person, it's like, mad that is not a problem. But for her, it's a big problem. So uh, we need to analyze life in different ways from different perspectives. And sometimes we need to just find a solution. Uh, I mean, there was a saying, right, that it says that if something has a solution, you don't have to worry because you are going to solve it. If something doesn't have a solution, you don't have to worry because you cannot do anything about it. So, uh, yeah, it's it's very interesting, the reflection, and it's a very interesting reading. So, because we need to, to have a different perspective from life, right? So sometimes we need to change, we need to release things and uh, move on, right? Yeah, it's important to, to change of per perspective or, or ideas and uh, you, you you say that it depends the person. Maybe for me is the is something easy or in it's not it's not important. Maybe for for this person is very important. It's a tragedy something. Uh, everything has a solution. Uh, sometimes it's, it, 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 it's difficult to maybe find this, this, this solution. Maybe um, for a, uh, a problem, there are many different ways to, to get a solution. And you can choose what is the more easy or the good, the good the good way to, to, to in order to solve this 
time of rolling. But sometimes it's necessary to, to hear other other opinions. Uh, they give other ideas, uh, other perspectives about the, the, the problem and, and the solutions. Uh, sometimes uh, we are uh, pleased, I don't know, mm. and, and you can you can think uh, in a good way. And not, there are no solution with only we are dead. But if, if you're still alive, there are many, there are solutions for every problem. Uh, the idea is, 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 is not overthink. Sometimes it's really very difficult uh, if you have a health problem uh, with your family uh, or, or friends or girlfriend, for example. Uh, but at the end of the day, it, it's important to try to find a, a good solution or uh, give a or, or or speak on with someone. Maybe the I don't know if the, how do you say it, the la la carga is menor. Yeah, the charge is is less. The it's charge. minor. Mm -hmm. Okay, charge less. Uh, if you share your your your, your problem with someone, yeah, uh, sometimes we need um the only listen, maybe. Yeah, you know that is very important. Sometimes the only thing that you need to do is to speak with somebody, right? Uh, yeah. And uh, sometimes only by speaking, even if you don't find a solution. That is good enough, right? So if you feel overwhelmed about anything, talk, speak with some somebody. I guess yeah. it's easier for women. I mean, that's why they say women live longer than men, because I mean that happens to me. I I, I have a a friend, for example, uh, and I say, hey, how are you? And she starts to cry and say a lot of problems and uh, everything's fine. But for men, it's different, right? Because you yeah, find a friend. And you say, hey, how are you? I'm fine. And yeah, we, <laughs> we don't say what is wrong with us. But we 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 need to. We need to speak. Speak out. It's very important. Yeah. It's important if you can speak with your uh, someone when you have uh, confidently. Or, uh, because you, you can talk uh, about a uh, problem with every, everybody. <laughs> Sometimes it's, it's necessary to speak with a friend so, or someone is near you. Yeah. yeah, somebody who cares, right? That you trust, you you need to approach. Trust, yes. Important. Person who, who you trust and you can talk about a, a specific problem. And, well, it, the, 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 may, there's always a, a solution, I think. Well, the, and try to don't overthink. Yeah, the mind is very powerful. So yeah, it can kill us. So we need to be careful in that one. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you very much, Steve. It's, uh, it was very nice also. So very good. Uh, it's interesting. I hope we have more time, but we have only 30 more minutes. So who wants to be the next one? Roxana. Ah, Roxana, right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, Okay. Uh, let me see. Let's see. Well, um... The previous week, I was looking for um interesting uh, theory or, I don't know, something interesting in Netflix. And I found a um, documentary, is that right? Docu yeah, um, documentary. It's like a um, documentary. Documentary, right? yeah. Okay. 
Uh, well, it was interesting for me because uh, the documentary was about um, flight, flight or um, a, a flight that um, lost in the radar, radar? Radar. Red, radar, okay. The thing is that um, it was a um, regular uh, flight with uh, 239 passengers, I guess. And the thing is that uh, the, um, the, they start in Kuala Lumpur and the mm -hmm. final destination was uh, Pekin, Beijing, mm -hmm. China. Okay, uh, they start, the flight was very normal and uh, about 40, 40 minutes after they um, start the, the, the flight, mm -hmm. the radar don't show anymore the, the aircraft. And the, um, the person who received the information in the in the airport was reporting to the to the chief. The thing is that in they start to looking for the fly, the rest fly person, but they have different uh, different uh, way because uh, one of the idea was the the airplane was uh, let me see they have a uh, different hypothesis the first one is ter terrorists terrorists the second one uh, was about suicide they was thinking that the pilot was thinking on that and uh, the other one was the press the pre, uh, the stressurization. Okay. So, okay. The thing is that uh, they they create different uh, hypotheses about the why about why the fly losing the weather. And uh, after uh, ten years, the familiar don't receive information about the flight and just the um, Malaysian. Government say because the the the, um, the company who was the general propietaria who was the the, the, the owner of the, the owner. Mm -hmm. of the aircraft was uh Malaysia Malaysia company I don't remember the name but something like that and they just uh, was uh, had a meeting with the government and just say that. They don't uh, receive more information in the weather, and the flight just flips. And you know, if when you are talking about um, aircraft, uh, I don't know if, if you if you know that, but in the airport they are so hard with the rules in general, not only with passenger. Uh, it's, same, it's the same for companies. It's the same for all the service that you receive in the in the in the airport, in the aircraft, and all. So the thing is that when the company receive um, damage like that, they need to support her. What happened with the flight, or with what happened with uh, different meanings with it. the thing is that they need to support all the the como vacíos, how do you say vacíos? Mm. como los vacíos eh, de ley uh, the legal uh, empties okay they need to create a, the way to to fill full the ¿qué? The legal empties. Legal empty uh -huh. because uh, they receive um 
a a multa um I'm, I'm sorry i don't remember the name a fine a fine yeah uh, it was interesting for me because uh, when i was seeing that documentary i remember when i took a flight from grace to santorini i usually uh, took flights at night because i tried to uh, save money for Oral eating and something like that. And um, the way that I try to, to uh, save money is looking for a fly at night. So uh, in that fly, I remember that um, the weather it was very, very bad and it was uh, night. So uh, the pilot tried to land in Santorini twice, but when uh, he tried uh, the three one, we uh, all passengers, we we will no we we were scared because we just um, feeling that the the, the aircraft. Um, was maybe como en picada? A falling down. A falling down, but uh, the pilot doesn't uh, say anything about that. So it's similar when you when you are in um in las ruedas and uh -huh. you are in the in the in the wheel. In the it's wheel, yeah. Way. You you feel the the you have the the sensation, right? And in that moment, we don't receive any notice about what happened. And finally, the pilot turned um, to, to Grace and we need to spend time there, you know. But uh, after that, we we was uh, looking for, we were looking for in the, in the you know, I, there was a app, I don't remember the name, but it's, Fly, it's a fly app. You can um, looking for the the specific flight, and you can see the the transit the, the about all the airplanes in different countries. And um, we were we were looking for what happened because we don't receive um, any notice about what we returned to Greece. So uh, they was they were uh, very close with the information. But uh, actually, when I was uh, watching that uh, documentary, I remember that fly. And right now, I'm scared about that because, uh, you know, when you are uh, traveling, maybe you you think in, in enjoy your time. You don't think and maybe that is your final fly, you know, and it was very um, stressful because, uh, you know, you you don't think in, in, in that, but actually it, it's real and I, I was looking uh, more information about that fly that I was seeing in the documentary, but the government maybe uh, in that situation they will uh, always they will uh, they will uh, do I don't know maybe they are too close with the information and you receive only a part of the information because it's not convenient for 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 them maybe but imagine if you took a fly or if you have a family and they looking for a fly and they receive that something like that it, you need to look for answer about that what happened uh, that moment right and that is i was stressful i am stressful 
because um, now I'm seeing the um, manifesto. Do you know what is it? Yeah. It, it is an interesting uh, skill, always with uh, flights or aircraft and something like that. But it is interesting because uh, you, you, you don't imagine that uh, something like that could be happening, but it's possible. And that is okay. my profession. <laughs> Perfect. Oh. Very good. Thank you. So, yes, I mean, you never think about that one. You don't say, uh, maybe I'm going to have an accident or, or something is going to happen, or maybe I'm not going to get sick. I mean, that is a possibility as well. So, um, uh, well, I I don't, I mean, it, it's, it's uh, difficult, but I believe that at the end, you stop thinking about that one, right? So you just move on and things like that. But then you realize, then you realize that, Many things can happen actually in, at any time. I mean, you can be at home and you can slip away and then you hit your head and that's it, right? So, yeah. Yeah, but I believe that, uh, Judah, that you have a little bit more experience so you, you will be able to analyze in different ways. I don't want to plan for the rest of Thank you very much. Así All right, now, who wants to be the next one? <laughs> okay, we'll try. Good. <laughs> I don't have any script or, or, of course, or, or I don't know, I don't have nothing, <laughs> but I can tell you about three things that I see and I live last week. Okay, uh, the one, the first one is, uh, I was in Santa Ana last weekend, uh, something uh, doing something for for shopping. And <laughs> oh, come on, commercials. Okay, suddenly I saw a book fair in the park because recently was a book day, so I, 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 yo aproveché. I took advantage. I took advantage. Is that only? Wait to say that I took advantage. I I can advantage. I took because it was in the past. Yeah, it, it was in the past. In, in present is I take advantage. Yeah. And is the only way to say that? No, there are many ways to say something. Remember, that is maybe the most popular. I took advantage. I, I take advantage. So. Uh -huh. So I took advantage of the book fair and I and I bought two books. But I I want I I bought I bought one book of this is and it's a second second hand. Okay. So it's La Casa de los Espíritus. Oh, a good one, yeah. Yeah, it's a good one and it's a second one second hand book. So it it's cheaper than new. So it costs seven dollars. Mm -hmm. Very good because in the in the library is around twenty, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-five dollars. So and I bought uh Julio Verne. Oh amazing. That was La La Vuelta al Mundo en ochenta días. <laughs> yeah, I really love Julio Verne's book. I mean he's amazing. <laughs> okay. Okay, sorry. So I, I bought that because it's a classic and classic is cheaper because this is new, mm. but a classic is cheaper. My wife is love about me because I I I always uh, go to the, the library searching or no yeah searching searching classic because it's cheaper four or five dollars and yeah. because it are good. Uh, two weeks ago I, I bought uh Juan Tenorio in three dollars. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. So because my budgeting for books is very very low. 
because books, new books are expensive. Yeah. But um, from time to time, I, I take the opportunity and I, I decide to be happy and buy <laughs> some book. Okay. Uh, the other thing I, I can tell you is about, I heard Roxana talking about Malaysia Airlines, right? No. So, yeah, I, I want to recommend a podcast in Spotify. It's Teorías Conspirativas. It's, it's the name. Yeah, so it's I a very it. good podcast. They had a chapter about Malaysia, Malaysia Airlines flight. I don't know the number, but the flight was disappeared. So it was the the best the best chapter they they had for me because they have a chapter about uh, area fifty one or Princess Diana and Triangular Bermudas I don't know how to say in English yeah Bermuda Triangle okay and and in that that the episode are all about theory um, conspirative. Conspiracy. Conspir ah, conspiracy, yeah, very conspiracy. But it, it they have a very, very good podcast. I recommend it. And um, uh, the last one that I can tell you is the last the last week. I saw a, I saw a I saw a video in, in TikTok and I'm going to share in the chat because I saw in a TikTok that advice and I think that I want to try. So it's it's a schedule. So it's a schedule that you can do Monday. Uh, visit that website, a quiz that me, and I will. Yeah, I will. I, I try. I try already, and it's a good and it's a good website for for practice English because they had a lot of uh, quiz. And reading trainer, I download the app and it's very good too for Tuesday. And for Wednesday, uh, you can practice karaoke. Sorry, it's wrong <laughs> karaoke, but in in uh, you can choose the app maybe in, in YouTube. And for Thursday, bother that me is a website for for about to talk in English, and, but you can. You can do with ChatGPT too. And for Friday is recommended medium.com. It's a website uh, for reading. They had articles about anything. So it's it's a good schedule for practicing English. So that's it. Okay, very good. Very interesting everything that you share. Uh, thank you for that one and for the tools as well. Since we are finishing, we're going to have one or two weeks did, off. Did, did you know that the uh, Don Juan Tenorio is the best poetry in Spanish? Oh, Have yeah. the the rings, uh, the 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 music in the words. It is so special. And uh, <laughs> Jose Sorria made a good job writing Don Juan <laughs> Tenorio. But I I have something something typical about that because I read. I read in Juan Tenorio, the original Juan Tenorio, and yes. I imagine that Chespirito in the. <laughs> Do you, did you know that that the that the Chespirito was most successful than the original? Yeah, it, it was a very good uh, sketch of uh, this is. Uh, it was most more successful than the the the, the original. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. I, I I remember some part of every one of uh, the Juan Tenorio, Sorria, and the Chipirito. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a good okay. one. And it, it's a very short lecture. So are around 90 or 100 page. I I have I have in the barroom because I reading sometimes. So and I. Reading, reading. It's, it's a good place to read. It's a good place to read. Instead of the cell phones. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I can show you, but it's in the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Very good. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, I haven't read that one. I have to read that one. Julio Vernes, I have read that one. 
And uh, the, also the first one that you say, La Casa de los Espíritu, is a very good one. I really like also Pedro Paramo, it's one special book. And uh, speaking about classic, I really love um, Cervantes one. So the yeah. Quixote is amazing. It's a very good one. Uh, when, when is the best? Is this teacher? Ah, uh, yes. Napoleon Rodriguez Ruiz. Ah, okay. Aragua, yes. Yeah, that's a good one. I also really like uh, Cuentos de Barro. That is amazing. Cuentos de Barro is part of the national, of the global, the global, uh, I don't know how to say that, but it's, uh, it's in the UNESCO. There are all of the, all of the, the, the place that Salarue mm -hmm. are that. Is, Cuentos de Barro is, is amazing. Yeah, I really love that one. I remember, you know, I, I say to my kid, when, I agree, uh, when I'm retired, I don't know if I'm going to live to, to, to that time, but if I get retired, I'm going to play video games and I'm going to read books. That's what yes. I'm going to do. <laughs> Talking about national literature, this is good work. Okay. Oh, I this is Galeas, one of the Galeas, or two of them? Uh, no, Jose Ignacio Lopez Vigil. Uh, oh my goodness i haven't read that <laughs> it's just about the radio the radio when in the world yeah uh, that's a good one yeah i know a, i know when the clandestine radio yeah the clandestine radio, right but it's a good one story it's a it's a real story and uh that is still exists i mean can i tune radio venceremos mm. you know I, I think it's a still exists, yes. I, I think maybe I'm but gonna... now official. Reggaeton or something like that. <laughs> but in, in this book, in this book uh, told or tell about the, the the radio and the beginning and how they hide from the police, from the from the army and in the around in the cafeteria, no sé cómo es. You can say in the forest or in the growing growing plant uh, crowd. Uh, okay, in the forest and how they they get equipment and they get communication with other countries. And yeah, it's very 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 good story about the, that ready. You, you that need I... to read. You need to read from from Rutilio Quesada, La Última Guinda. Oh, that is a good one, yeah. This is very good book. <laughs> yeah, books are amazing, you know. Very, very good. Yeah, I just bought two, but I don't have them here. Very good. Uh, so, and you know, this is something that I also do with my kid. He really loves video games as well. And sometimes we go to bookstores. And last time we spent like $100 and we, we bought a lot of books. He bought a book about Japanese culture and something like that. Very good. So <laughs> it's like a guilty pleasure that we sometimes have. It's not that often, but whenever we have the chance, we go and buy a lot of books. Good. Perfect. Thank you for sharing, Marvin. Um, I guess we have time for one or two more. Who wants to be the next one? Nobody. Uh, maybe me, teacher. Okay, let's listen to Marcus. Okay, um, I'm going to talk about a little bit of history. And the question, I thought in the video, yeah. and the question is, how do you know, how did the Dutchman create Netherlands? Because um, at the end, Netherlands is something like the Venice. I don't know if I, I am right with the pronunciation. Yeah, Venice. Venice, uh -huh, yeah. Um, uh, Netherlands is not a, a big country in, in Europe, but they have uh, the greatest economies of Europe. And it's located in the northwest of Europe. And it doesn't contain a single mountain. That's why the name uh, I don't know if the Netherlands in, in English they say like uh, Países Bajos, but in Spanish Países Bajos it's, it's Netherlands translation. But that's why his his name 
because they don't have a single mountain. And um, a huge part of the territory is low and flat. Due to his, his, his geography, is vulnerable to cyclone storms and river flowing. So the 26% of the territory is under the sea level. And a half of the territory is one meter over the sea level. So in Netherlands, flow several rivers of Europe. Um, they uh, this generate condition for flus. And in the past, the flus destroyed the entire village. And the current situation of the Netherlands, regard with the territory, is result of centuries of land recovery and invention of draining systems. So the territory di didn't get over by the water. Um, between the 60, the 17th and the 19th century, there were a lot of catastrophic events, uh, floods, um, damage of people and houses, because the the, um, the territory of, of Netherlands is almost under the sea level. Um, so to fight against this situation, uh, they start a process of readaptation and recovery of the land. They build dams. Uh, dams is like um, we say in Spanish, like presta uh, o dique, to contain the water, uh, gates and other systems to of water control to protect people and vulnerable zones to flu. The population was increasing with through the three years, so the demand of the land increased too. Uh, the dam engineering evolutionized with the time to adapt with the changes of the country. Because at the beginning, uh, the dams were made of woods, but they should have to be reinvented when the shim worm arrived at the country. Uh, this is like a little mollusk, uh, which perforate the woods, making a big damage. So the dams uh, were damaged. They cannot uh, work as expected. So they changed the, the dam of wood for dam of stones. Uh, it was a hard task because at that time they have to import all the resources because they were they uh, hadn't uh, stones in 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 Netherlands. So mm -hmm. they have to import all the resources to to create that that those dams. And the current dams are made of sand and, and, and stones. But besides of the dams, other instruments they used to drain the water were the windmills. That is something very specific of Netherlands. And also, Angor uh, have a lot of, of paint or, or windmills. So the wind, windmills were built above of the dams. And with the air energy, the water uh, was drained to the sea. But also, uh, uh, while they are building these uh, windmills and dams, the Dutchman did waterways to drain the water. And all these things they did um, produce uh, more permeable land. So they increased the amount of resources to explore. So that's why um, Netherlands also have a, a good uh, economy because they export a lot of uh, flowers, a lot of, of fruits and vegetables, uh, and that is because uh, the the um, the land in, in Netherlands is very permeable, and um, so that is that is the history I want to share with you. I think it's very interesting because it's like they fight against the and climatic change, or I don't know, because it's like they build a, a land or a country from the from the sea because it's all the territory is flat and it's like an island, but it's, it's in the in the in the uh, continental part of the of the Europe. It's not Asia, India, but 
they fight against this situation and they also are successful in, in other fields, in other areas, not only saving the, the, the life of the people who live there, but also they succeed in, in, in increasing the economy and make more permeable the, the land. And also uh, they, they have created a lot of down and and modern system to like um, uh, to drain the water and also uh, ways to connect all the the part of the country is very very interesting this all, all, all this this situation because it's a, like um fight against the the, the bad things, the, 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 the environment. Very good, perfect. Thank you for sharing. Yes, it's, it's interesting, the story of that country. And actually, uh, in English, they call it Holland. That is, it comes from whole, right? From the whole, the land that oh, is okay. in the whole. So, uh, yeah, and I mean, it's a very nice country. Uh, they really have a, a good economy, the environment, uh, landscapes there. Maybe the language is kind of difficult, but it's a very good thing. So very good, perfect. Thank you for sharing. So my friends, this is the end. We finished already the uh, module number five of the advanced. So um, it was a pleasure as usual to be with you. I really enjoy, you know, having these classes. I, I know that this is a job, but I feel it more like a club where we can come and discuss about interesting things. Uh, you can tell anything here and share your things and we can learn from each other. So it's a very good thing. I don't know if we will be together on the last one, the very last one. Um, let's wait. And uh, it's supposed to going to start uh, by May 8th. So let's wait. Let's see how it goes, right? Uh, because also that week we have a holiday that is Mother's Day. Uh, but let's wait and check how it goes, okay? Uh, but anyways, uh, remember that if you need anything from me, you can chat with me directly. If you want to practice, if you want to share anything, if you just want to speak with somebody, of course, you can uh, do it. And, uh, well, I hope you have a very good week. I don't know if we will meet together, but if we meet in person, we're going to speak in English, definitely. I'm going to check the attendance. And then let's go to bed. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Of course. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. And I almost complete the survey. Just okay, thank you. Juan Miguel Brand Mejia. Present teacher. Good. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Good. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejia. Present. Good. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. So, my friends, it was a real pleasure. So, I hope you have. Very good night, very good weekend, very good month, very good year, very good life, and dream in English. Thank you very much, teacher. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, teacher, for everything. Everybody. Salud, teacher. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Thanks for all. Ah, it's a pleasure.
ايه ده مركز Uh, yeah, do you have questions or do you want to practice or anything like that? Uh, 